Okay. I made a few changes. Um, this one I have a put a butterfly right there, so I could actually draw up into the up into the storage container. So when uh, the pyro zone, if it's not high enough, I can change it. That tank, uh, it's got copper coils throughout the tank. So as the gas comes in here at the, on the side right here, it spins through that whole area and the tar catches on all the copper pipes and then it drops to the bottom. And this is that lid on the top. It goes into the cooler. <coughs> then into the filter. Which I just I modif hooked, uh, took a vacuum apart and modified it. But here's the generator right here. And as you can see, there's no carburetor on it. Here's the fuel line right here, and that's the carburetor. Okay, I'm getting ready to start the gas fire up. Um, as you can see, I got a bunch of miscellaneous different stuff. Got some wood pellets and some charcoal and some wood. I even got some garbage. That's the thing that's nice about the gas fires. You can burn pretty much anything, even plastics. But, uh, I'll get it loaded. I could kind of put some charcoal in the bottom to get it going and then I'll put some wood pellets you know to fill in the holes and then I'll you know fill the whole chamber with these and I'll still put in some wood pellets to fill the holes
it. I had it tipped sideways, so everything that was in. vacuum right here, that's what I use to get going. You can see the smoke coming out. This is the water I'll show you in a few minutes. The heat actually created by this creates uh, a hot, lot of hot water or steam either way. It's got to decide. It actually goes in the front and in the back and it has a jet that points down at the stainless steel bowl. 